Even when we may not have brand new aerial views of Epic Universe, we do have some ground view updates. Let's go over some ground view updates that we've got over the weekend, courtesy of BioReconstruct. This is the current view of the on-site hotel, the Grand Helios Hotel, as the elevator shafts are being prepared for the next floor, as the concrete floors have been poured and are moving on to the left side of the hotel. In the foreground is the recently topped off steel framing that is found on top of Mead Hall, which is the main eatery found in the How to Train Your Dragon Land. Those wired chip mesh rock formations have now made it above the roof line and is starting to make their way up onto that steel structure. To the left of Mead Hall, you can see through the scaffolding that celestial style theming element placed in front of Starfall racers that have been present for months now. Flying above the tracks for the launch coaster in the How to Train Your Dragon Land are the two dragons found perched on top of the counterweights of the dual spinning rides. In the background behind the dragons, is a scaffolding that surrounds the village of Dark Universe, as well as that newly revealed entry portal. Theming can be seen from the ground all around the Curse of the Werewolf roller coaster, as well as the trees that are popping up between the tracks and where these pictures are taken from. The entry portal can be seen from various spots around the ground as it towers over the current village structures in Dark Universe. The detail of that entry portal can be seen from every spot as well as the beauty of it still ceases to amaze. The Burning Blades Tavern can be seen through the scaffolding as the facade work is now being revealed from these ground level views. In Super Nintendo World in Donkey Kong Country, these ground views can give you a better look at how the fake tracks are placed above the actual track of the new boom coaster, as well as the detailed work that is currently going on around Mount Beanpole. Mount Beeple can be seen in front of the wheel at Icon Park here. Looking through one of the off-site hotels, you can get a sneak peek of the rooftop of Yoshi's Adventure. At Stella Luna and Terra Nova Resorts, the colorful tiles continue to go up around the entire resort as we get closer to completion. Steel structure has been recently added around the pool area, as well as glass is being installed around the lobby extension. There's currently a hard stop where the colorful tiles will end right around the construction elevators. It is highly likely that these construction elevators will be removed and those colorful tiles will continue on. The second resort continues to sit idle as it awaits its tiles, but the pool work and exterior work continues. This does it for today's quick ground view update of Universal Epic Universe. Be sure to subscribe for more Universal Epic Universe updates.